All right, now we're driving down the road here in Puerto Rico. Everything looks the same. We got the speed limits and miles, and the cars look the same. The roads look the same. The only thing that's different is they use uh, Spanish on the signs, and distance is in kilometers. Now we're driving up the mountain to see a little town called Florida. All right, we just arrived in Florida, town of Florida. I want to see this little town, see what's happening. I'd just like to see if there's any fruit stands over here. Looks pretty small. That was pretty much it. Now we're headed out of town. We'll see what other towns we'll see along the way. Here's the town of Florida now. It doesn't look that much, so we're gonna leave. Alright, now we're driving down the road to the next town of Uida. And Florida was pretty nice. School children were getting out of school. I don't know why, because it's only 11 o'clock a.m. And they always travel in pairs, they got their uniforms on. Now we're going through the jungles over here, going to the next town. All right, here we are. We're just uh, coming around the corner, still on the road. They said it's going to take an hour. The only thing we're missing here is some music. I need to go to San Juan to buy some music, hopefully tonight. This is the real countryside of Puerto Rico. This little car they gave me, it's an Echo. Toyota Echo. We're going to Ut Uadu. We found some bananas on a tree. And it's a big breadfruit. This little town has coconuts, bananas. And it looks pretty nice. We stopped here and got a little lake. River that's passing through and got a horse down there. All right, here we are. I'm not sure how it smells because I can't smell today, but it looks pretty nice over here. I stopped beside the road to get the good picture of this scenery with, with the river in the background. This is the Puerto Rican's version of the Hoover Dam. I got this side, and then this is where the lake is. All right, here's the big lake. The big dam over there. We're gonna go to Uida and check out their fruit over there. Looks like someone built a little small raft down there. We just got up over here in Puerto Rico and we got this nice view out here with the valley. The sun's coming up and the chickens are making their noise. The town's down there over in the fog, down below. We just got up, we got on this roof over here, and it's really nice over here in the morning. It's in the jungle. You can hear all the sounds over here. We got nice banana trees. We got the fog in the background. Sun's just coming up over the peak. Last night we could hear all the crickets and the frogs chirping away. Got the fog that's gonna burn off, then we'll be able to see the city. We got all sorts of trees here. Over here we got a looks like we got a breadfruit tree. Here we are in the front of the house. It's the roof up on top. Now we're leaving down the mountain. It's a really steep road. and lots of curves. It's pretty interesting. The funnest part about this is that steep part and that small road. Now we're just coming down to the main road. We made it down below, it's foggy down here. We just got through the clouds. Oh, here's the Seventh-day Adventist church, right over there. And we just stopped. We're just continuing on our way to the museum in a different town. Here's a church over there. Alright, we got on this panoramic route, Ruta Panoramica, and it looks like it's a fairly new road. And they actually have a yellow stripe in the middle, and it just 
looking at the road, it looks so small on each side. And it's uh, really, really narrow, the road. We stopped over here and we thought that we could find some good pictures over here with the palm and the banana trees. Never saw so many palm trees on the side of a mountain like that. It's loaded. A lot of palm trees here, all over there, just like a pine forest. Just like that. Then got a nice dog that's over here. This road over here goes all the way up there and up to those towers. It's really steep. We made it here to the highest point on the island over here at those towers. We can see both sides of the island. It's a little foggy down there so we can't see that well. But I can faintly see the ocean. So here's the car. My car is six feet wide and the lane is only nine feet wide. So I got a foot and a half on each side of the car as I drive on this road. We can hear the lizards, birds, frogs chirping away over here in the jungle. It's really peaceful here, just light breeze, no cars around. Tallest mountain in the island. We found a pretty good lookout place right here on top of the mountain. You can see the lake down below, some houses right there. The lake over there. It's really not smoggy, just lots of lows of visibility, so we can see the town over there. Just beyond that, that's the ocean. It's a pretty nice view over here on top of the mountain. We're going to go down, look at a museum once again, like I said before. Hopefully I'll find something else to do. Yeah, this is exactly what I wanted to do. Come to Puerto Rico and explore the jungles and avoid the city. The city is a terrible place so right over there. Too much stuff. This first airplane I've heard all day. Stopped on the road again just to check out stuff. Looks like there might be someone that lives up here because there's a little road. Someone lives down in this valley. These people just park on their roof. So that's how the goes to the road. Here we I got a rooster walking around. Got a bridge down there with the creek. Got a waterfall over here. It's pretty nice. And over here we got the other side. I just can't believe how nice it is over here. Blue skies, white clouds, green grass, flowers. This is a two-lane highway right here. It looks like just a one-way street though. We just got to the ocean over here at the beach and we saw Gilligan's Island on the map so we wanted to see what that is. It looks pretty nice over there. I wish I could go there but they say it's closed until Friday. Hopefully I can go there but I don't think so. Now we're going on a little boat ride to the island next to Gilligan's Island. It looks pretty nice over here. Here's these places uh, right next to the ocean. There's the boat drivers. Right over there is Gilligan's Island. I think we're going to go to this island over here. Since Gilligan's Island is closed until the weekend. We're almost getting there now. Right over there. The water is pretty clear too. I'm driving through a small town, cars on both sides. This is the same music I bought in Spain.
We came all the way here to see the stone tower, but the doors are locked on it right there, so we couldn't get in. It was made in 1933 when Roosevelt did the CCC, and they put people to work over here, too. Found another Adventist church. It's in a real scenic part of the country. You got a good view, too. There's banana trees all over in the valley. So we're just driving back to Butuado to go stay over there. So we've been driving for a long time, maybe almost two hours. It takes forever on these small roads. I've driven almost 200 miles today all over. It's windy, windy, very windy. Lots of curves. Okay, now we're going back up to stay the night. It's a really steep road on top of the mountain. It's a really nice view up here. All right, now we're on top of the roof. We can hear the crickets, croaks from the frogs. And we can see the stars up above. And it's pretty nice out here. We can even hear neighbors' music from down below in the valley. And we can see the fog forming. Now we're driving down the road after we slept at Lewis's house. And it's nice over here, it's really nice sounds with the birds, nature. It's foggy this morning up here in the mountains. Now we're going back to town, we're gonna to go to the cave this morning. I might go to San Juan, the city, to buy some stuff. And then after that I might come back to stay one more night. My third night, and then Thursday I'm leaving, or else I might stay an extra night, I'm not sure. As we drive along the road over here to Larry's, we just listen to our music on the radio and we see so much nature, so many banana trees on the side of the road, it's just really nice and it's a really curvy road. We're going up and down the mountains, nice and sunny this morning. We see bamboo forests, we drive through bamboo forests and we see the villages as we pass by and it was just so nice this morning. The nicest part is in the morning over here. Right, we tried to get gas, but they didn't have any gas. Gas is 53 cents per liter, which is around $2.15, $2.20. That's really, it's actually a good deal. But over here, everything's gone by liters. We arrived in another settlement over here. Just passing through the village. We're going to the cave. Now we're going to go in the cave. Smoking and eating is not permitted inside the cave. Do whatever leave your brother down the path of what we're going to walk through. Children have to be with their adults. We will start our journey through the Hall of Sculptures. It is in this area that we're going to be close to all these formations that are hanging from the ceiling. These are cross the lag types. I would really appreciate the people not touching them. They are very brittle and we can outplace the natural growth. We are in a large and big forest from the ground where we need to build up. That's a part of the forest. That's cool. We'll probably see more later. Oh, my gosh. Down below is the big river, the third largest underground river in the world. It's the underground river. Found a big lizard. Here's a humongous frog over here. And here's a small one. Here's a spider. There's the I, uh, castle over there. Right, we made it over here to the uh, downtown area, the old San Juan, where you see the big castle over there in the background. Now we're going down this cobblestone street. I like this music. We're up here on the side of the road and we saw an abandoned cat. It's a little kitten. It doesn't have any parents.
That's the uniforms. All right, here we are. We're gonna pass by a school, and everyone over here wears uniforms. All right, here I am on top of the mountains over here in the countryside, and I'm running out of videotape, but I'll be leaving back home tomorrow. Hopefully, everything goes well. Got lots of nice vegetation here. We're just driving along this road, and it's really nice. I'm just doing some exploring out here in the jungles of Puerto Rico. We got up to this mountain, the road's really small. You see a lot of banana trees, a lot of vegetation. I think it's gonna come to a dead end, but I'm not sure, so I'm gonna keep on going. It looks pretty interesting around here. All right, we're almost getting up to the top. Still working our way up. Got a lot of banana trees here. Lots of nice flowers over here, too. Got this steep road that goes down. We went up all the way up this road and we ended up over here at this gate so we're not going to go any further. Up there the clouds are moving quite fast over the mountain. Here we are, now we're going down. All these nice trees over here. We stopped here to get some uh, coconut and oranges. And over here a nice fellow, he uh, sold coconut for a dollar and oranges for ten cents each. I got chess over here. And checkers. You got the roosters in the background. You got the coconut tree up here. They just had another grand opening of another Burger King here in the new town of Hayaya. We just stopped here beside the road. We're gonna leave this little valley that I liked really much, Uduado. And they're gonna head back to the airport now. So it's a really nice community. I liked it. It was really nice and I stayed up over here in the mountains in the background and it's probably this mountain right over here somewhere maybe that house yeah so over here was 49 cents a liter that's really cheap but usually it's 54 I've seen it as high as 57 a liter and we finally for the first time made it to the beach over here and Puerto Rico. Tomorrow we're gonna go home unless I get a job over here flying for uh, parachuting. Here we are at the beach over here in Puerto Rico. I wanted to take some pictures but my battery's down so I have to can't take any pictures so thankfully I'm headed back because I need to recharge my battery on my camera. I got these uh, little uh, slot machines that don't pay any money they're just for entertainment. I was just headed back to San Juan. We got JetBlue over there. This is the McDonald's where I stayed at the first day I came. I got some DC3s over here. We are looking across the airport to the terminal for private jets. 911 Charlie Romeo is a jet star. Thank you. 